Hey guys, this is Power Engineer and today I will show you how to set up a TP-Link router as an access point or AP. The first step is go to your main router, disconnect it and connect this router and press up it. Then type in 192.168.0.1 in your browser or just type in tplink login.net a prompt will come with the username and password the default username is admin and the password is same as well admin just go in there and uh, once you're in go to network then LAN and change the IP address here uh, the IP address of your main router is 192.168.0.1 and you don't want the two routers to interfere with each other the access point you don't want the main router and the access point to interfere with each other so you have to change the IP address over here you can set anything you like but it should be in the same domain of 192.168.0. something so I'm going to change it to 13 and then you have to go to DHCP and disable it it should be enabled here, here but I've already disabled it so you, you are saying disable then save don't forget to do it once uh, you have saved it saved it I'll show you in the next step what you have to do next step is to disconnect the second router and connect the main router back to your modem as it was before next step is go to a laptop and disconnect its internet mine has a physical switch some laps, laptops have it so I just I can just press it now you can see all virus radios are off if you don't know how to do it you can uh, let me show it to you you can simply go to open network and sharing sharing center then uh, mine is connecting right now when it will be connected you will see a disconnect icon over here okay connect or disconnect you can simply go here then here and then disconnect through this so this was the next step the next step go to open network and sharing center then change adapter settings then local area connection right click then properties then go to internet protocol version 4 TCP IP 4 then properties then select use the following IP address 192.168.0 and 10 subnet mask will come out automatically the default IP you have to type in the IP we chose for the second router which is 192.168.0.13 then ok then close in the next step you will be needing a cat cable or ethernet cable and the power adapter of the router just connect the um, cat cable in the LAN port of the router which is the yellow one and connect the adapter to a power source don't turn it on yet connect the other end to a laptop uh, on which you just set the um, um, internet protocol settings now connect the router to laptop to the LAN cable and type in 192.168.0 and 13 Now go to wireless and press enable WDS breathing. Type in the same SSID as your main router, whatever it is, and this is very important. Select the same channel as your main router. I suggest you do it six on the both routers, then the same mod as the main router, and the same channel width as the same as the main router. Then come over here and select survey 
Now for this you'll be needing the MAC address of the your, of your main router. Mine is the first one. I already have second access point, so I I, I know which one it is. Uh, for you it won't be difficult since it will be your um, only access point in your house. Then just connect. Then type in the same SSID as your main router. Then go over here and select the same security as the main router and type in the password. So once you have typed in all the things, uh, this is not the right password. I just mm, type it in for the purpose. When everything uh, you, have, you have typed in everything correctly, you should see a run status over here. It means you have configured your router correctly and you can place your router anywhere in your house as long as it gathers a signal from the main router and very important thing uh, go to um, system tools password and type in the old password with it, which is admin and type in the new password which is uh, admin as type in the old password which is admin, admin as well and type in the new new username whatever you like and type in a password to protect your access point from others uh, so that they, they don't catch your, your Wi-Fi for free and uh, and put a load on your ne network so I'm just going to do it quickly you can do choose whatever you like as long as you remember it okay and just press save Okay, and then look at who okay, there are some password rules. I believe I didn't type it in correctly, so let's do it again. No, it is correct. So it see it's asking me the password again, so I'm just going to type it in. So I'm in and last but not the least before you disconnect this router and place it anywhere in your house just uh, go to open network and sharing go to change adapter settings then LAN then properties Then Internet Protocol waiting for. Go ahead and do obtain an IP address automatically and save it. And of course, you won't be needing the Ethernet cable. You can just place it um, for safekeeping, and you can place the router anywhere in your house, as I said before. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe comment or do a thumbs up thanks for watching this is Rod Engineer